most beautifulest thing in this world Gender revealed, hot damn, it's a girl And we move with intention If you don't come correct, no, nah, we don't listen We on a mission, did I mention Cooking greatness, baby, we in the kitchen In different dimensions, the energy shifted Quite befitting, vibrations lifting From corporate to the courtroom, we can afford to Walk in our standards, then avoid you We ain't birthing no disrespect Everybody gotta come correct We talking gross and neck Baby, I flip coins and checks Baby, I keep heels on neck Stunt and seize And I don't need a reason to stunt Cause I always get what I want on me today because our girl Tam is across the world in some Asian country doing wonderful things. So we miss her, but yeah. I'm happy to be here to moderate for you today. We'll go right into our icebreaker. So, listen, I'm new to this drop off the kids at school thing, but I'm noticing that there are um, no rules when it comes to how you show up for dropping off and picking up. And like, is this just me or is anybody else seeing this? <laughs> no, I've seen it. Oh, um, a lot of videos and pictures and everything is going across social media where a lot of women are picking up their children or getting them off the bus and they have on really short shorts and the booty cheeks are out and they cheeks out at the school. Sun's, sun's out, babies? sun's out, buns out. Mm. Can that, I, I, that could I, be a thing. I, I got to admit something, y'all. Mm-hmm. I was running behind. I did a photo shoot. And I ran out, threw one of my sheer sheer over things over. I had a bra underneath it and was walking through the, sc- the school. And I was like, the oh, sh-. look down. I'm like, just give my kids so I can go. And I didn't mean it, but it happens. I didn't purposely do it, but it uh-huh. happens. But I know you're talking about the people that purposely just... Yeah, they, just they just show <laughs> up, up however. Them. They don't care. I personally, personally feel like there should be a penalty if you are going to come to school... And you are making these other children, these parents, uh, uncomfortable. You sh- there should be some regulation around that. Well, if the kids have a dress code, why shouldn't maybe the parents a little bit? You know, you don't want the kids with short shorts on and mm-hmm. you don't want the kids, you know, doing mini skirts or, you know, broad tops. So maybe parents should kind of take the same road as the kids. My question is, are these like repeat offenders? Are these like the, the usual suspects that wear the <laughs> pants in March? Is that I the think thing? It probably <laughs> the same ones that wear the bonnets in the airport and all that. I, I think it's... Not in the airport. Please don't. Uh, I, won't. I won't. I won't. You don't do me like that. But I do wear the bonnet sometimes. I wear the bonnet in the airport. Every time. Yeah. Every, every so it's about no. where I'm going when I, when I get there. When but I'm put, going. put it on when you get on the plane. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Maybe. Like, have a little decorum. Just a pinch. <laughs> so if, I don't know. I think my worst uh, thing about going to pick up my grandkids' kids from school, I might be wearing anything. Boy, I be having on okay. hats, trench coats, <laughs> dress shoes. You know, they be looking at me like, okay. And then by the time I come pick them up in the evening, I'm a whole different person. So you know it. But you're covered. That's that's I, what I do we're be giving covered. You. Probably yeah. Yeah. A hat yeah. is okay. Ho- hobo fashion. That's okay. Okay. So, so if yeah. there is a dress code to be applied and let's say a tax or whatever that might be like the reason that people don't want to do it again, what would that repercussion look like? Do you guys think like you don't detention. get to come pick your kids? I was about to be ready to say the same thing. Put them the, in detention. The parent? Yeah. yeah. How do you, how you discipline a parent for that? My kids are in DPS. These they, these parents ain't having it. Yeah, I wish you would try to tell one of these parents they're going to be in they, any kind of trouble or their kid going to be in detention. It's going to be a whole lot of smoke in the city. I'm just I'm just being honest. Mm. Uh, financial? Oh, that's how you mess with people. Yeah. yeah. yeah you talk about their money. You get a little note in the mail. You owe. Indecent right. exposure. Mm. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Okay, okay. Give okay. them, give them a, yeah. a slip or something citation. like that. Yeah. yeah. Citation. With Exposure, indi- indi- citation. I like that. They took my free time away, Mark. We're coming up here like that. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> now, there are certain states, that, like maybe we'll talk about like the letter of the law, right? There's ways that you can show up in public that is legal or illegal. Did you know that is completely legal in the state of New York to be topless as a woman? 
Oh, I'm imagine. sorry, just walking oh. down the street? Yes. Oh, oh. I didn't yes. know that. It is not against that. the law to no. be topless as a woman in New York City. What if it weren't against the law here and people showed up in those manners? Maybe no man. No. But, but how Mm-mm. can you control it? What can you do? I just don't think you can. It's I don't gonna, think your child should go take, here if that's the case. It's okay, I'm sorry. They this is go not anywhere. the school for you. Home school. It's going to it's gonna take for what another I'm, parent to whoop, whoop their parents, but and then they don't know. What do you do with that situation? Do you talk to the parents, talk to your children about the parent? Like, what do you do? Well, you definitely need to explain to the kids what they're looking at. Like, you know, that that ain't right. Just because you... I know you gonna have wrong, a whole... But you can't do it. Maybe, they say a class right there on the street. <laughs> I was just about to say that maybe they'll start putting it back in school if that's the case. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, there may be some inspiration to enhance the curriculum, but all the same, <laughs> I'm still getting into the acclimation of it all. What's the worst you've ever seen? Quick fire. I've seen booty chicks hanging out the bottom. Like, is that what you're talking about? Yeah, is that the, the worst? The, yeah, to me, the booty cheeks. I, you can pick the booty chicks and put them back up in the shorts. I've seen that. Oh, no. oh. yeah. I've, ten finger lift. Yeah, ten. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I just seen the ghetto fabulous. You know, the, the you know the cap mm-hmm. and the house shoes, whole full pajamas. But that might have been me. <laughs> she said, I'm looking in the mirror, and next thing you know. But I, I get it. I, I try to at least get my teeth brushed, and something happened in my face when I dropped my kids off early. Um, I totally understand. I haven't quite crossed the threshold into where you ladies are seen, but mm. I'm not looking forward to it. Okay. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so today's show is all about relationships, the new normal, and knowing mm-hmm. what complicated even is anymore. But before we get to that, we'll get to our peaks from last week with Okila. Oh my God. We have the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductees, right? So there was quite a few people, but I'm just going to name a few of the ones that I thought were interesting. Like we had Mary J. Blige. Very Mm -hmm. good. Okay. Okay. Because, you know, I thought it was just rock and roll. We got Cher. We have the Dave Mathis Band. Okay. (laughs) Foreigner. Cool in the gang. Oh, I love oh, Cool in the gang. Wow, yeah. Okay, Ozzy Osbourne, uh, Peter Frampton, and mm. a tribe called Quest. Okay. Tribe really? Quest. Right. You know, so I think that was interesting because I wouldn't have thought they would have been in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Yeah. So those were the ones awesome. that I were kind of interested in a little bit there. But also, too, as you know, Elon Musk is coming out with the new Optimus humanoid okay oh, and it will be available to the public in 2025 now it will be available to businesses in the beginning of 2025 but it will be available to people right at home at the end of 2025 and this robot does anything you want it to do it can mow lawn, buy groceries walk your dog and who knows what yes. other Type of you know what that reminds oh, no. me of. You know what that um, reminds me of. Have you guys ever you watched that? What? What's that movie? AI. Yeah. AI. Uh, Jew. Was it Jew? Is it Jew Law? Law? There was and he was the. Smith in it too. And it? he was the. Um, what is that called? Move? A gigolo <laughs> robot. <laughs> oh, like, now, what if he malfunctions? <laughs> now, is that a sign? Wow, like, wow, something is happening. Yeah, like, yeah. start going too fast, too. Yeah, so, like, that's no. creepy. Mm, yeah. no, and then I'm we see creepy. movies like, hey, uh, uh, what is that? Mm-hmm. The Will Smith movie. Like, are we not paying attention? I are we going to put these things in our is house? I, robot? I, robot? I, like, robot. Cook, yeah. clean, it's watch ne- your kids. Never, have you seen The Matrix? There's never been a good outcome in, in any of these situations. So why are we so quick to, like... Come on, robot, come in the house. Because what was another one? Megan. That was supposed to be a scary movie, and that doll went on a killing spree. She was hurting children, Mm grown-ups, telling the parent, uh, no, I don't think you should talk to her like that. Yeah, the one AI um, that's, like, a citizen over in Russia or somewhere, they they have feelings, and they they were actually... what is it called when you become an actual citizen? They actually made the robot a citizen. Now they want a family. They want a baby. Like a family. Like that's creepy. <laughs> the like baby, is this an AI? A baby robot? Like Rosie they want, from? They want to be what, a what love. baby coming they out. They want to. What a baby going it's in? Too much. Because hey. they ha- they want to feel. Did human. you say they want to feel human like? It's also technology. What is? What is I don't know where this baby might come from. It's wild. <laughs> I'm, but I'm, I, listen, I, I'm I, saying yeah. is I'm not I'm not feeling it. Is there any good that could possibly come from robots being amongst us looking like humans? Do you guys think there's any good at all oh, come oh, from oh, it? No. It reminds me of women, all that. No. It's all bad. Okay. Women might as well quit being women. 
Just fire people, us off. Period. You women? Want, people. Yeah, people. Yeah, all women. Stuff, These things are about to start stealing jobs. They're going to be though. washing uh, dishes. They've already started. They gonna, right yeah, there. They're going to wash dishes. They're going to clean the house. They're going to take the kids, to drop, drop the kids off at school. Mm-hmm. And then they don't have the attitude. I'll say this. Oh. I think that with the robots, the kids. robots being implemented Yet. into our society, there's already a lot of different kind of people figuring out who they want to be. I'm not sure how to address a robot. Is it she, he, they, He them? has pronouns. It what has pronouns. What is actually Ooh. happening with the, it. the robot in itself? <laughs> so now I I know how to engage with it in my everyday life. I'm right? assuming. They have rights too. I'm or? assuming. They may be assigned gender. I don't know. But hey. Maybe so. Gender. Whatever. But whatever They're assumptions. Whatever assumptions. <laughs> at the end of the day. <laughs> well, on that note. Okay. He, we're, yeah, we're on the I'll outro. take a sip on that. <laughs> right. Oh my God. We are every woman. And um, we are on to main topic one. If y'all know it's Sunday, um, Lahaim or all that wonderful stuff. All right. So. <laughs> the listen, we, 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 we cheers and things in different, different yes, cultures. Yes, ma'am. We're going to keep it moving. For me anyway. Thank you. I appreciate y'all. Okay. So main topic number one, the new normal. Can we define what a traditional relationship actually is nowadays? Nowadays? Nowadays. 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 Or what, what is the traditional, traditional relationship today. right now? What is traditional for today? Today, I feel like um, if there's a box that says, I don't know, <laughs> that would be the box. Yeah. Like traditional was, you know, the man yeah. had this role. The woman had this role. We're, we're, we're far beyond tradition and anything. We're, it's anything and everything, right? Whatever you want to be, whatever you yeah. want it to be, you can. it can be. Yeah. Yeah. That's Period. what it is. Okay. Lovely to you. Is that, you I mean, I mean, would that be considered traditional? That's it's all, traditional. all inclusive. That, yeah. yeah. Traditional like it looks more like all inclusive to you. All inclusive. I mean, w- if we're talking yes. about everything that's going on right now, yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, all inclusive. Be whoever you want to be. I mean, now everybody <laughs> said they can choose to be whomever or whatever they want to be. So let's just say the man of the household wakes up and he says, I don't feel like being a husband today. I'm going to be the wife. So he can wake up and say that, and traditionally we're we're going to work through that. That's yeah today's tradition. If, if, if Those roles. No, 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 for nothing. I hear you though, because today's yeah. tradition, we are a lot more accepting and, and and having conversations and patience and empathy and the things, right? The things. Yeah. The okay. Things. So on, a, on I'm just giving a, a no. general talk. You get yeah. it. Yeah. So okay, so that is a sense of tradition for what we're looking at now. So within this traditional role of everything goes. Is, <laughs> is a poly situation something that could be considered traditional at this point? Honestly, Quite po- I feel like <laughs> I'm, somebody I'm, say, I feel like <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I still have traditional beliefs and ways. And I honestly feel like the outcast in this in this generation. Like when mm. I say mm. what I want, people look at me like I'm crazy. Like, girl, what? Why would I do that when I could have all this and we're all good and we're all getting along? So, um, that I, I, the, the new norm, it makes me feel like what I want is just crazy. I feel like I was born in the wrong time frame. I should have been in the, well, I ain't gonna say which year, <laughs> but I should have been 50s, some, some, somewhere yeah. back there. I, I just think today, like for me, I'm looking for somebody that I'm equally yoked with. You know, mm-hmm. what does that so mean? That means that we on the same page. Mm-hmm. We kind of have some of the same views, some of the same values. Because, and like you're saying, like if your values are more traditional, which is a man being a man role traditionally and a woman being a woman role, even though today, because we have jobs and careers and things, we're not sitting at home with the kids. So it's more of a balance of where we are today. But I would prefer the more traditional because I am a bit old schooled, you know, so Mm -hmm. I would want somebody equally yoked like me. Mm -hmm. (coughs) But I also on the same page in the same token, people have adjusted their views or the way that they look at relationships Mm -hmm. because of so much has changed. Right. Mm -hmm. So now they're feeling like it ain't much out here, so let me try this or let me try that. And so they're open to experience things that they've never experienced before simply because they feel like they may not have any other option. Have they adjusted or have they lowered their standards? Could be both. Now, now, beyond being lowered or adjusted or even redefined, right, because we're living in a quote-unquote new space, like, is this a disappointing situation to you that you feel like you, you would maybe need to be a little more open to additional forms of relationships 
versus oh. what you had in your head? Is that disappointing to you? It, it, it's very disappointing mm. to me. I would almost rather be by myself than settle at this mm. point. Well. Because a lot of the men that I have met, <laughs> well. I almost feel like a lot of them don't even like women anymore. They just like the idea of the woman. They like the, you know, they like when, <laughs> when, when, when you know, they like the good time with the woman, then we're gonna drop her off and let me go about my business and do what I do. Mm. You know, I don't see a lot of people really trying to build together and mm. that type of thing. They're, mm-hmm. You know, but, and not saying that it doesn't still exist. It's just that since I've been single over the last year I, it's wow like what happened right like actually no I'm, 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 ba- I'm back yeah. inside I'm back inside <laughs> what what yeah. happened to the idea yeah. of that the traditional role murky. or something if you're feeling disappointed where do we where do we deviate from this traditional sense of man woman child mm-hmm. you know the nuclear family as a as as the 50s called it right mm. what changed well, well, we could get this. That's a whole different episode. We could really dig into what changed and, and when it comes to like different mm-hmm. cultures and then what happened to the man in the household and then mm-hmm. how the women feels about. But mm-hmm. that's a whole different. We're gonna thing. go back to Willie Lynch if we go but, in there. Yeah, we're gonna that's go way deep. It was that's that's that taking about a sixty yeah. minutes and we only got a few. So <laughs> well, many minutes. Yeah. <laughs> so um, we do. I do feel like um, a lot of the stuff that we see in front of us, especially with celebrities and media, mm. it's, it's like they, you, they give you this easier option. And the easier way is not having to just work hard with one person. The easier way mm. is, okay, she's pissing you off. Let me go, Let me ch- go. chat with yeah. her over here. Or she mm. can do this because she don't do that. Yeah. That's, I think they just Matter make fact, they they her bounce. and her friend. Ooh, okay. yeah. we just they, they, did you see them. Neo? How he, each of his girls yes. have... Him kissing her as the main pitcher, and all of them are completely. Say well, that one more time. Neo the singer has mm-hmm. three d- girlfriends. Mm-hmm. Each okay. of their m- pictures on their profile, their main picture is him kissing that each girl. So there's three girls that have relationships with him that are like po- you know sh- showing their relationship, and it's like none of them care that two other girls are saying yeah. like doing the same thing that they're doing. And I'll, I'll say he even said he want in, more. Go ahead, lovely. In, yeah. in my former life. I might have thought Polly was okay. But then I grew up, I became a seasoned woman, and I realized I don't want to deal with nobody who act like me. Mm. I'm sorry, and what I'm What are you thinking. saying, lovely? What are you really saying right now? Like <laughs> you. I'm sorry. And we, need a, we need a toast. What are you talking about? Toast for the former listen, life. Listen, women, as we age, we tend to have uh, more personality. Yeah. I like how you put that. I, I feel like okay. we do. Okay. And I... Don't want to deal with more personality. I have a daughter and then I have a him. And men go through the same thing. They gain more personality as they get older as well. Mm -hmm. If you haven't even taken the time to get to know yourself and deal with you, how are you supposed to deal with a third and you really not even dealing with the person that you're with? Yeah. I don't have to. I'm not implementing all of that. And Mm -hmm. traditional, yes, Mm -hmm. I want my man. I want my kid. And I want us to work through things. Yeah. Right. And so anything outside of that is pretty much like way too complicated, right? Yeah. Yes. Anything else yeah. is like, yeah. I got yeah. too much to think about, deal mm-hmm. with, who's I, doing what. Well, yeah. it, it's different too. If you choose to go into that situation, then it's a, it's a choice. But what are you looking at it as? I mean, if I was to deal with a situation like that, I couldn't take it seriously. To me, this is a good time. I'm just going to have fun, you know? And mm-hmm. But I, I wouldn't look at it as anything long term. I wouldn't mm-hmm. look at it as serious. I wouldn't even... Mm-hmm. Now, now I'll say this. I've heard arguments from both sides, and I'm pretty open. I'm not, like, close-minded against any particular thing outside of what I've tried myself and I didn't like or liked, right? Mm-hmm. And when it comes down to this idea of, of, of polyamorous relationships, the argument that comes up frequently is that there are two women for every man on this earth currently. Now, let's just say that only half of the women on this earth were in a traditional, committed relationship, so the other half is just for not... Is that, no. Does that mean that we just got to worry about, you know, okay, well, half of the women just not going to be coupled with a good man? Or is there an opportunity to to try up? I got mine. You better go get yours. <laughs> no, because let's just yeah, say, look, no. just because these numbers mean nothing. Because yeah. just because there could be a million women, but there might be only 100,000 wives. That Just because there's women out here doesn't mean that they... <laughs> there's a hoes or like... Who, who <laughs> there's a lot of... Hoes. There are hoes out here and they enjoy their lifestyle and exactly. they like what they're doing and they're not trying to be locked down. So we can't just mm. put a whole yeah. blanket. That is like, very true. You know, I, they, they, like... They like to be the... Here's I, what I, I want to say. Mm-hmm. I want to add this because I have several acquaintances that are in those relationships. And I literally am okay with something if you're genuinely okay with it. But when Mm -hmm. I ask these women, if you had the option, Mm -hmm. if you had him, if you could have him by yourself and not share, every one of them has said, I would. 
That's how I know they're not happy. Mm -hmm. They're doing this because they feel like they have to do it. One mm. lady, she's like, he yes. asked me for each one. I give him permission. You think you have this, this idea that you're, he's giving you permission. You're giving him permission. But this is him being nice saying, hey, I was going to do this, but let me let you in on it so you can feel good about it. Like mm -hmm. we're, I mm -hmm. feel like people are lying to themselves saying that they don't want a man to 100% be satisfied with them just like they're satisfied with that guy. And I just, mm -hmm, I just mm -hmm, think mm -hmm. that. So it's like cut off, cut off the idea of, of the nuclear family and adjust to what makes sense based on whatever, right? Like they're, they're readjusting or like you said, lowering their standards. They would prefer it this way, but let's just enter into it this way. That's, that's the conversations that have been, yeah. that's the, what you guys yeah. can say. If, if I was to date a man and he was saying that, you know, I'm about to bring somebody else in, well, that means she are. She ain't just yours then. Okay, now, because if, if that's the well, case, that's that means that she belongs to us. Well, okay, us as a group, that means we a group. Then we gonna be, if we gonna be a group, we gonna be a group thing. You know what I'm saying? So you ain't okay with the throuple. Is this what you're saying? What, I, what I'm saying is... Yeah, send her out to get the groceries, yeah. right? Okay, she it got to not she can fold the clothes. That he could Sorry. bring a woman, like, I, I, this is my other girlfriend, I'm gonna see her on Saturday. No, we gonna go see her on Saturday. <laughs> Saying if that was a choice, now that ain't okay. what I'm looking for. But if but, I did, well, I'm going to move along <laughs> the conversation and ask <laughs> okay. because this is all related to this particular topic, right? <laughs> Let's say you go out of town, right? You guys are out of town. You go to Dominican Republic somewhere, oh, hot. Everybody is hot and happy and half naked, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you open to indulging in a hedonism type experience away from home? in that situation, allowing a vacation boo. Me and her be naked and we looking at naked people. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a looker. I'm a yeah. looker. I'm can a I, looker. I, I, can I, I want to be know. like, oh my God, look at it. <laughs> right. But it, 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 yeah. I would still be a little, because you know, because I, I took my ex to the strip club one time and I was having a good time. We got a dance. I turned around, looked down. I was like, what the <laughs> oh, this party's over. This is crazy. Like, you think it's mm -hmm. fun until you see your guy getting turned on. So I don't know how I would feel with all these things but, bouncing around. But okay, I think okay. that if you... <laughs> That's me. If you're going, you're there together. So you guys yeah. may have already had that conversation prior to mm -hmm. getting there. So you're like, okay, this is what's off limits. This is what we gonna do, blah, 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 whatever, right? But the human so body don't lie. You're right. So he gonna see something. So I'm mm. gonna stand up. When he says something, it's gonna look real good to him. You're gonna be like, oh, really? That's what? But that's... Oh, okay. But that's and that's okay. But then at that moment, oh, you supposed to do what you got to do. Oh, at that moment. What, what is that? I had to grab a leaf. I had to grab a leaf. Like, we out of here. Don't look over there. Don't ever look over there. Look over there. Eat leaves on it. We're out of here. I, I We're done. Mean, you do it right there. Okay. If it's happening, it's happening. You're going to look. I mean, you're going to look. I always felt like... If, if a man still has desire, he's not just going to look at you. He's going to look at other people, too. That doesn't mean he want to take her home. And so that are you. Want. And so, I mean, thank like, you. I, I mean, when you see beautiful women, you're going to look, oh, she's beautiful. You know, you see a beautiful man. Oh, he's beautiful. Beautiful child. Oh, they're beautiful. Well, so the kids I think, can't come. Well, well, no, what oh, I'm saying, God. though, is no, wait, 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 people are attracted <laughs> to good-looking people or interesting people. So yeah. I think yes. there's nothing wrong with admiration, you know, mm -hmm. just slightly. I mean... Not gawking, staring, and being weird unless we own that type of thing. Like, I mean, if we I, both gawking, looking, and staring, honey, we're going to be go. talking about it. I'm going to tell you like, baby, yeah, you see that? Right. And, and I noticed there's a consensus previously as well. How do these two consensus align in the same person? It's cool to look and be attracted and all these things. Is it the action that comes into like play that makes the 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 paradigm different? We <laughs> actually that's natural though. It's, it but is here's, natural. Here's the, here's, it's being a human being. Here's the truth of the matter. Your eyes are the windows to your soul, right? And mm. then what you put in front of your face matters. So even just being there and putting this temptation in front of you is already to me. I mean, I probably would want to do it once just to see it. But, like, once you start feeding your your mind that type of stuff, it grows. So mm -hmm. it's just even the fact of just seeing. Maybe you're not turned on, but it's it's just feeding things that I feel like is going to be an unhealthy appetite versus you just looking at me all day doing cartwheels naked and shit. Okay, okay. Cartwheel naked looking at Lauren because Lauren's gorgeous. As we and can are, I just yes. say one last thing while we're on this subject? <laughs> say it, girl. Here's the deal. Here's number two things. Yeah. One. Like, number one, it is hard enough for a woman to maintain her lady parts, her pH, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You sharing, <laughs> no, you sorry. over here doing this and that and that. That doesn't mean the way I take care of myself, other people take care of themselves. So Absolutely. while you over here dipping and dabbling all this stuff and coming back over here, mm -hmm. like, 
that is an issue for me. That's a health issue, okay? Right. Like bacterial infection, all kind of Ooh. stuff, right? I don't, I don't need that. It's a that. self-respect issue. Number two, while you're trying to please all these everybody's, mm-hmm. have you figured me out? Have you made sure that you can do this while you're trying to do all this other stuff. Right. Thinking Remember you got what all you this like. going on. Right. Like, I, would, I would hope so. Like, 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 let's, <laughs> like, cause a lot of all these threesomes and stuff, like, you can't even get one person to the finish line. So, Ooh. please, why are you over here what? doing all this? So, and listen, 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 sorry, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna like, put, put that out there while people try to spread themselves thin. The tea is hot, the Chardonnay is, is room temp, and I ain't mad at it. Well. Thank you for that insight, Sorry, you guys. We will be coming back with more of Every Woman Season 3, Bigger and Better. This is our third episode. We talk about relationships. And when we come back, we're going to be talking about roll call. We're talking about the roles of men and women in relationships as it stands currently. See you soon. The most suckerous of sucker-ish you've ever done. Stay with me when I shouldn't have. I let him walk all the way over me. It was so bad. We know the most suckerish thing I, I did. Hmm. I bought a woman a car and I didn't have one. (laughs) 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 That's the truth. It's the truth. Definitely some suckers. You are listening to the sucker stroke hour. (laughs) Sucker. Welcome back to Every Woman. My name is Sabrina Athena. If you're just joining, these are our lovely co-hosts. And you missed a whole lot of tea on this last topic if you just joined. But we're glad you're here. We got more tea to pour. All right. Let's talk about these gender roles in relationships. In our previous segment, we spoke about um, just just the understanding of what the the playing field is, right? We know where, where people are, where their minds are, at least, you know, uh, uh, amongst our conversation. So now... As a woman and as a man, where do these roles really lie in the relationship? Do you have specific tasks? Are there um, feelings, emotions, things that need to happen from a man or a woman? What do you guys think? I, th- <laughs> I think that every every situation needs to be defined and communicated. Um, like we said before in the last segment, mm-hmm. it, it's, the tradition is it, there's it's no tradition anymore. Over. It's whatever you define it as. But I do feel like this whole idea of I'm a man with a penis, so submit to me and work a full job and clean, cook, this and that and that and that. So you have two jobs. I think that needs to to just kind of 100% come off yeah. the table at this point. So you're like, saying like that person completely provides and you completely don't work. Be- the thing is, you want to be a traditional man, do traditional man stuff. Like, okay. This woman can't be full-time working. Then you're talking about why is the food not done? Why is the house not clean? She's either her full-time job is doing what those traditional men did. You know, you know, the woman is at home doing all that Hmm. stuff. And I think it just needs to be defined so that there's no, there's no just I'm a man, so you should be doing this. (laughs) Then I I shouldn't be doing man stuff. Right, right. Yeah, as Lovely said in the last segment, I think the roles are just like all inclusive still, right? Because everybody. Yeah, everybody is doing everything mm. these days. So, and I, I was gonna say the same thing. I think with the way society is set up right now, uh, financially, mm-hmm. both of us are going to have to work. The man and the woman in the household. We're both mm-hmm. gonna have to work. We're both gonna have to provide. So that means that the things and responsibilities that are in our household falls on on the both of us. So if I can cook, you should be able to prepare a meal. Or if you can't cook. And chop I, the green peppers. Chop, so, chop a pepper. Yeah, uh, wash yeah. the clothes. Put them away. Put the towels away. Like we should have some form of flow or communication in our household. Right. So together. you said we. Is that that mean that he might be chopping peppers and you might be stirring a pot, taking That's out the right. tra- or taking out the trash? Okay. If I see the trash full, I'm gonna take it out. I don't yeah. need to wait I, for somebody okay. to come do that. You know what yeah. I'm saying? If it's full, mm-hmm. I'm taking it out. I think ideally for me, gender 
roles in relationships should cater to what that person's best at. And I think men and women mm, really like do that. have things that they are better at. Men I like that. are a little bit better, you know, working with their hands. They might do a little more labor work. I might be better making the house real cozy. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So for me, I want to just start there. Mm-hmm. Now, if this man isn't really somebody who likes to do stuff outside, I, I like doing stuff outside. You know, there, there's a there's a connection here. But what like what's the preference? Like, what would you want to do in a relationship? Well, I'll tell you what. I I I am not a stay at home like mm. just lay around and yeah. spend the money. That's I want right. to work, right? Mm-hmm. But at the same time, I do want to feel like I have the option. My man will take care of it. Mm-hmm. He gives me mm-hmm. the option. I hate when I hear people say 50/50. It require I require 50/50 mm-hmm. because to me, is I heard the audience members say, go crazy. Who's that, that was, that's okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> but people but you that's know right. and right. I don't want to offend anybody but people say we're in the age of the sassy man. And that to me is mm. a sassy mm. man comment when somebody says I require. Now, to give me an option to say, "Hey, I make 150 if you comfortable off of what I bring in, cool. But if you want more, feel free to bring it. I, I can deal with that versus if you want to be with me, I'm just saying we about to be split and stuff like roommates. I it's, it's a turnoff for me. So yeah. it's like, and I and I can't speak to everybody's situation because whatever works for you and makes you happy. But I would, I need a man where I feel like he's a protector, a provider. And that's going to make me go even more yeah, hard and, and crazy mm. and, and bring way more because of the fact that I know that you got me versus yeah, requiring. It brings off your softer side. You yeah. know, if you want to mm-hmm. see a woman at her full feminine potential, then she the, needs to feel that. The you full know? power of her beauty is, exactly. is when she feels safe. She's going to glow that way. Like, yeah. absolutely. She's not worried. Right. Being worried. You worried about mm-hmm. bills. You worried about all of that, you know, especially if there's two of y'all. I mean, I've heard situations like that where it may be two of them and, you know, girl, I can't get my hair done, you know what I'm saying, because we ain't got $50 or, or whatever. And it's just sort of like, but you got to, you know, oh, it's a whole yeah. lot going on, you mm-hmm. know, two in your house. But no, no, hold on. Let's, let's, not disqual- let's not disqualify her comment because Akilah's a hairdresser and she hear mm-hmm. more than bartenders. I, I yeah. hear a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so, no, no, <laughs> so, and that's my whole point. If, if you have a whole man at home and you work a great job and they work a great job and you still don't have minimal money, you know, so at some point, you know, it's like you and you still out here, you know, and I'm not going to no names or nothing like that. But that same person was out getting extra friends to get extra stuff because the oh, person no. that they had at home huh? wasn't able to really provide. See, in a sense. Say what? So she had a full a job. He had a full job, but she had to go outside. In Let order me tell you to something. get money for her hair. Right now. <laughs> Mm. Go ahead, you Lovely go. has something hot. And I'm going to get okay. Look, only, on, okay. And I know we all in the same room. We want to make sure everybody's <laughs> voice is included. So right? we're going to hear well, our lovely quickly. And we're going to get to you guys. Don't worry. We coming to you guys <sighs> very shortly. Okay, I'm, I'm okay. Okay, yes. so I feel like gotcha. when, when it comes to an adult, you should be able to maintain your hair, your fingernails, your be- your beard, anything that has to do with your appearance as an adult, you are supposed to be able to manage that. Because if we were not together and you still had to go to work, you have to be presentable. So you're going to naturally take care of that anyway. You should. And if you can't afford to go do it, there's so many YouTube videos out here where you can manicure your fingernails, your toenails, learn how to arch your eyebrows, apply those lashes. Like, okay. don't give me mm-hmm. that. Go ahead, go ahead, Lisa. Go ahead, Alicia. Oh, what is happening? <laughs> These ass. Go ahead, Alicia. That caught me completely. Out. They like that. And two, <laughs> like, like you were saying, you you want some. I'm. I guess for me, I think a little bit different because I'm not looking for somebody to provide for me. I'm not. I'm not looking for that. Like we don't have to come into the relationship talking about 50-50 or any of that. You're gonna take care of whatever you're gonna take care of. I'm gonna take care of whatever. You- I'll take care of. Mm-hmm. If somebody's falling short, I'm going to pick up where you falling short at or whatever. And that's just how it is. I'm not looking. I, mm-hmm. I don't look for that. Right. I'm not when I'm having those conversations with people or whatever. I'm not looking for you to be like, oh, yeah, if you don't want. I don't know. Because I like to work, too. Like I work for myself. So I like to go out there and make my own money and do the things that I need to do. But at the same time. If for whatever reason, you know, all these people just got laid off with all of this. Mm. So if you just got laid off, then that means, okay, we might be operating on one income or you're going to have to go out there and hustle, go back, 
Might have to go back to your old lifestyle just a little bit. What? what? Not the, hey. I'm not saying nothing hey. bad. Hey. <laughs> I'm just saying you might have to go out there and hustle a little bit. Okay. But I, you know. I, I would like to respond to what, Les, what Leslie, my goodness, I'm thinking about my little sister. Hey, girl. I'm, 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 I'm talking about Lovely and, and Leslie. Present. Leslie. Yes. I think that's bullshit, Lovely. I love you, but I really do. Because mm. at the end of the day, everybody is responsible for themselves, but everybody don't have to fucking do it alone. And a lot of times, you got a lot True. going on as a woman, especially at like a. And I'm talking personal at this point because mm-hmm. I use person when I'm I'm serious, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> I, like I'm listening to you and I understand it, but I also feel like if it weren't for the love of my tribe, then I wouldn't have had my hair done and trimmed. Okay, I would not have been able to get my nails done. I might not have been able to feel good about myself. And as an adult, I hate feeling like, dang man, I gotta I gotta sacrifice all these other things. Beauty is expensive, but beauty is powerful. And it is very much worth the investment. So anybody who's willing to help contribute to your power as a person, not just a woman, as a tribe, I I, I look for that kind of feeding. I look for that. I welcome it, honestly, because it's been so long that I'm like, I got this. I'm going to do it. I'm Look, (laughs) F all that. I'm not even in my soft era. I'm Mm -hmm. in my what's up era. What's up? Mm -hmm. What's up? What you talking Mm -hmm. about? Okay, because if you can add to my situation, I'm here for it. It ain't every day. Like you said, it could be a layoff. It could be a this or that. It could be... So many things, mm-hmm. but I, I have so much compassion for people who understand that power and, and aren't afraid to say, you know what, every one of y'all, I love y'all. Thank you for feeding into me. Mm-hmm. I need it. Yeah. But also, mm-hmm. if you just have to do it by yourself, <laughs> you gotta you. dig inside. You yeah. gotta you gotta pull it out from the inside. Baby, if I and got to say, do it okay. myself, I'm gonna do Be it by myself. myself. Exactly. Okay. That's, I that's just wanna say, I'm I wanna make a yes. comment. I and and usually I kind of agree with you ladies, but I my, my granddaddy used to say you can have as many as you can afford, right? And I don't I don't I don't like that, but I I like that. So in a way, Papa was a problem. So um, I, I was dealing with this. I was dating this guy. I knew we couldn't be together after this conversation, but he he was he, he's from an African culture. All this stuff. He's like, you know, I am into poly- polygamy. I am into polyamory. He's like, but if I buy you a Rolls Royce. I got to buy the other ones a Rolls Royce. If I buy you a house and make sure your kids go to college, I got to make sure that. And, I, and in my mind, I'm like, shit, man, I never thought I would be sitting here considering this. But no, I, I didn't go through I didn't go through with it. We all get one. I didn't go through with it. I mean, that Rolls Royce sounds nice. I'm just saying. I said, okay. all of us, but no. Um, we'll maintain it. I didn't go through with it because I need that one-on-one. But what, I, what, what I'm getting at is he's already coming with the mentality of if I have a woman, that's my responsibility. She's my responsibility. Yeah. I got to take care of her. And so when I say you can have as many as you can afford, let's just say just the average man. We're talking about just one woman. You can't make sure that you are taking care of this woman and maintaining her. Like when you do small stuff like go get your nails done, here's 50 bucks. That's going to be amplified a thousand percent. She's going to do way more for you than what you just did for them little bitty nails. You know That's what I mean? Really when she That's feels really like, right. and well, Okila, to Okila's point, like if I'm doing it by myself, like, and it's not like at our big age, people aren't having a decent income. You're spending money on the things you want to spend money on. Absolutely. Am I a priority? Yes, I can do it all by myself. But the fact that you are taking pride in me as if like, this is my, I'm going to make sure she's good because she's mine. What else do you need done to make sure that you're good this week? Mm-hmm. It's, it's the mentality behind it, not the, I. this how much it costs and you can buy it and I can buy it. We can all do it. But yeah. at the end of the day, I just feel like some stuff is just basic, just... Yeah, yeah, I feel you on that. And and, and we're talking a lot about mm. maintenance. We're talking a lot about people who give into things. We're talking a lot about mine and yours and all this other stuff. When it comes down to what these deal breakers... Uh, really, like, the bottom line is mm. cheating, right? Right? Going against something that somebody said they wouldn't do. What, what would you define cheating as in this day and age? Emotional, physical, men, all of it, yeah. to me. What is all of it? Like, anything, what, what are you talking that- about? Where you're, where you're giving yourself to somebody else, whether it's emotional, you having a conversation with someone because you and your mate are having some issues or whatever, mm-hmm. and you sitting there just pouring it out to somebody mm-hmm. else. That's yeah. cheating. Yeah, oh yeah. Talking mm-hmm. about them to them and, and mm-hmm. she do this and she Absolutely. do that. And uh, blase, blase, split. She just listened like, mm-hmm, I don't like her either. Because eventually uh, <laughs> yeah. that is going to turn physical. Oh well, yeah, for sure. Because now she's listening to what you Let's got go to have say. Lunch, boo. I'm a, there you I, go. You know. So and, that right there. Okay. Your man should be your friend. So that's betrayal. Would you do that to your girlfriend? Like mm. take her business and start telling her stuff to somebody else? No, a lot no. of what we're talking about with when it pertains to um, generosity, care, concern, 
Mm. If they was your friend to begin with, I think a lot of the conversation about whether or not they want to give or how they want to do would probably be taken away anyway, right? Like if you was actually like really down with that person, that person understood your situation and your life and they would want it to be somebody who like contributed to it. But the point of the matter, let's talk about cheating. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the, the the cheating conversation, like what what is the, like the most minute cheating that could possibly happen? Is there a such thing? Put it to you like this. Mm. Anything that you are not willing to do in Thank front you. of the person that you are with, that's it's cheating. cheating. How about that's buying fair. lunch? When it's you just working? that simple. What's those it's plant just husbands? That okay. Simple. Okay. Plant, the they plant they ain't wives. just in the plant. They be buying lunch for, for the for their plant wives. And but they're not just in the plant. Mm. Oh, I, that's what's okay. Right so let's take it as let's take it as <laughs> somebody. Anyway, the work has, hopefully nobody's work at the plant. <laughs> just the work hood. They the everywhere. Work right. All right. Well, we are gonna leave these wives without rings out of this. But okay. That's a nice way of putting it. That is a mm. nice way to put it. There okay. You go. It came out. Mm. No, sometimes the good things come. So, yes. Sex with another oh, person. Yeah. What? Immediate deal breaker or a conversation? Conversation. Conversation. What? No. 100% so deal breaker. Ooh. All right, Lauren. That's, that's, that's deep. fellatio. That's sex. Okay. Any okay. exchange Any of bodily fluid. And fingers. Like, and fingers. Like, look, look. You want to do that? And fingers. <laughs> and fingers. Right. Any exchange of bodily fluid. It's going to be a conversation. Okay. Yes. Yes. Jeez. And it it's going to be a turn into a threesome. Wait, we need one person at a time. I'm sorry. <laughs> what did he be What did he say? I wasn't sure. It could. What I'm just you? saying. However, no, I'm kidding. Angry oh, moments shit, turn into yes. to hot tea some days. You, you said it's going to turn into a conversation. It's going to, it's going to be my fist <laughs> and they mouth. I'm trying to hear That's the conversation. conversation. Like, what are we doing? Oh, I've had it before. So everybody on this couch is saying there's no conversation to have. You, it's a rap for you. Alicia is having a conversation. Mm, That's what I'm trying to understand. Okay, let's let Alicia talk real quick. And depending on how that conversation goes. It's going to depend on We could dig some more into that one. one. It's Ooh, okay. I really want to get more. We got to pick this back up. I was in the match yeah. and drive yes. that Royal Royce. Royce. I probably... Yeah, because I don't want to get it. I, I, I may mean, not have I, you know, I might just be a conversation. There you go. Okay. All right. Well, we'll okay. continue this conversation when we come back. Our main topic three, <laughs> some information from the audience, get some feedback. You guys stay right there. We will be right Mr. Officer, look, you might take me to jail, and that's okay, but I need you to take me to Taco Bell right now because I got a boo-boo so bad. <laughs> I am every woman. Guess who's the Zach? Back in at his ass. <laughs> Listen, oh, Scarface was just in Detroit. Y'all didn't know that. I missed it. Did not. Okay, Did not that don't matter that right now. We're talking it's about Man Chapter 3. It's been hot up in here. It's hot. getting hot in here. Y'all see the puff so on my silk press? I'm not thrilled. Oh, Keela, how do we yeah. save this? Oh, oh, we'll move forward. It was passionate. We'll talk about that after the show. Okay. Fair. So, <laughs> <laughs> let's, uh, let's talk about this final topic we have for you today. There was a situation that happened not too long ago at one of our popular bars that a lot of people love to go to and have a good time at. <laughs> Um, it starts with an F. I don't want to mention, mm -hmm. you know, um, I'm, I'm being thoughtful, not demure. So this F place, there was a situation that happened. There was a woman who was dressed scantily clad. She walked in. She felt good. Someone assaulted her. I'm mean, going to use that word because if you touch someone un inappropriately or unwanted, that is assault by law. Mm -hmm. Was assaulted. And... What came back about, because this was a big deal, there was like um, business problems that went on with this. She deserved it. That was the bottom line. I mean, I don't know the exact words they used, but the sentiment was, she dressed this way. This is how it went. 
she deserved it. Now, today, I don't know if you all noticed, we're all in black. We are dressed for dates, okay? Mm-hmm. We are in our yeah, date yeah, night yeah. attire because we think that if we, you know, we show up like this, I don't know. What y'all, what y'all think about each other's we might date get night a attire? Date. We might get a date. Who want to take care of our nails and our hair? <laughs> <laughs> you know? Minimally. Just there the bare minimum. <laughs> okay, yeah. take me on a second date. Okay. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So what is, what is this conversation about the way you dress and how you show up and what you deserve or don't deserve? Like, is, is there any, <laughs> any merit to that? I Keep your hands yes. to yourself. Yeah. Keep Period. Your hands I don't care if I was butt Booty. fucking naked on a pedestal. Come on, buddy, <laughs> with, a, with a sign that said, touch me. No, I'm just kidding. Just <laughs> no. 100%. You cannot touch somebody. I don't care how they're dressed. There's no, there's no you deserve anything. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Just, it, it, it's like, it's, she could have been a bit, like, in, in her mind, like, you don't know what a person in her mind was thinking when she came out. Like, mm-hmm. what if something came out where you felt bad? Like, dang, she was really not all the way there and she was dressed like that. And I just felt, no, it's 100%. I don't care what she was wearing. I mean, she might have been hoping to meet somebody, not necessarily get assaulted. You know? Mm. Mm. Okay. Okay. So she was hoping to meet someone. So is there a certain way that you dress for a first date? And, and why would you, like, mindfully dress a certain way or not dress a certain way? Well, so it's really going to depend on the date, where the actual who, date that was my first is going to be, right? So most first dates, they say you're supposed to, it's supposed to be in the afternoon, you know, coffee date or whatever the case may be, because you're really just learning or trying to get to know someone, right? So mm-hmm. you're not going to be dressed like we're all dressed up here tonight, correct? No. You're going to be very, maybe very casual. You're going to be, mm-hmm. you know, a little covered, you know. Mm-hmm. But now if it's at night, you might still be covered because, again, you don't know this person. Mm-hmm. And you don't, you know. So for me, I'm going to be classy. But at the same time, I'm going to, I might show a little. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. And so that's. Okay, a little something. A little yeah. shoulder, a little leg, a little ankle. Who knows? I, yeah. I, I've always felt like, you know, if I'm going on a first date and I don't really know about this guy, I am going to be sexy but still conservative in a sense. Absolutely. Like, I may wear a pants outfit because that way I, I, I don't want to be fighting with somebody at the end of the night. I don't want to accidentally have to hit him in the eye because he tried to go up my skirt. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm going to make sure I got on some stocking. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm just, for an there's just certain things because that was one of the things that I've seen being new on the dating scene is that there's a lot of people that are, they don't have any self-control. You know, and, and, yeah. and I feel like even for that young lady who went through that, that was a self-control issue. So you see something, that means you got to touch it. That's like a little baby. You know, no, mm. no, no. You mm-hmm. know, I mean, mm, like yeah. a lot of men, unfortunately, don't have a lot of self-control, especially when they get alone with a woman. I mean, mm-hmm. I just, I just want to be able to chill. We should be able to talk and have a good time. And, and no matter how good I look, like, can we just still conversate without you trying to touch me every five minutes? So if I think that that's going to be how it's going to go, I make sure to keep it a little bit more... I've experienced you know, that. Way. I've yeah. experienced that as, like, a person who likes to go to parties. I like going to different, like, like just... I was in New York having a good time, okay? The ravers, I was down. I wasn't in all the drugs, but I was down. I was having a good time. And what I've noticed, uh, and I stopped going, is because I, I might want to dance, and then a guy will just want to touch and grab and do all the extra stuff. And I'm like, don't, that's not what, wait, not, no. I'm, I'm going to have to go down to Trinidad or something to have a good time, because they at least they understand, like, this is all a part of the culture. This is all what we're doing. You don't have mm-hmm. to grab and touch and do. So is there a way that you guys might show up that you might want a little more attention? Is is that a thing? Mm-mm. I always show up the way I want to show mm-hmm. up because of me. Like, it's always because of me. Right. And I think you, you're like, I think we've been out looking like, I don't, I don't know the correct term, but like looking like, do y'all need something to eat? <laughs> and we still, so questionable. But we, but we still Absolutely. get you attention, get the attention though. And, the, and you, you think the, the way, when you look the worst, the people are still like, hey, mm-hmm. oh my God. And you're like, really right now? So it doesn't matter mm. how you're dressed. If you're yeah. a beautiful person, people That's can right. see through anything you got on. Yeah. So when yeah. you go out doing all this extra stuff, most guys I talk to say, I don't like makeup. I don't mm-hmm. like all that stuff you be doing. Mm-hmm. It's because I want to do this. Mm-hmm. So I'm not going out to... to to do all this extra, you know what I mean? But right. I just, yeah. What? Go ahead, Dress it for myself. Well, I'm I'm gonna give two points. Um, I've been out in been to a few places, had on a crop top and everything, and I had a guy, I'm walking through the crowd, and the guy puts his hand out and decides to caress Oof. all across my body. Oof. And this is the only portion of my body that was showing. I've been at a bar, put my hand up there, the guy put his hand on top of my hand. I'm sorry, so, my hand got itchy. So <laughs> 
they so about in, in some cases, it's not even what you wear. Yeah. Some people just want to touch mm -hmm. somebody else. Mm -hmm. And just not to focus on women uh, being touched. Okay. Men have that issue, too. There are yeah. men that have been groped out in public mm. by women. Mm -hmm. Wow. Because he has a broad chest. When they walk past, oh, that's nice. Keep your hands to yourself, lady. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Can okay. we, can, I know we have some men in the audience. <laughs> well, we in definitely have some men in the audience. So I would like to know what they think yeah, about I wanna that. Know, yeah, what do y'all think? Yeah, for sure. About, Ask being, them. about being touched or by Whoopsies. a woman. You know, I know well, there's yeah. a couple of you guys here. Somebody, uh, who wants a microphone Has anybody first? been touched in or how do you feel about it? <laughs> or even the dress of someone when they go out. Somebody, Anybody come on. been touched? <laughs> Somebody unwanted? got something to say? Anybody? Well, I have a uh, I have an additional question for the audience that I was moving okay. into. Um, that maybe it might be a good idea to do now because we have the cameras this way. So we did purposefully invite couples to our set today, and if you're not in a couple, that's fine. We're happy that you're here either way. Um, traditional roles. And maybe when you got together, it could have been last week, it could have been a couple years ago. From what I sense, you guys, you guys are locked in pretty tough right here. From then to now, can you see any differences in the way relationships are, are defined? And do you think that that works for your relationship now? I'm sorry, I had a story for the other thing. Oh, okay. So once okay. upon a time, I had locks. It was like down to here. And <laughs> I was walking in the club, and as I was walking, this lady just yanked me down by my hair like, <clears throat> Oh, she no. said, you look so good. I want to. <laughs> I liked it. Okay. You know, bring that <laughs> microphone back. That was a mic Come back, Thank you so Somebody much get a mic. for that. <laughs> that is, um. Okay. Is that's okay. We don't want you. But women are aggressive like, like that. Yes, you know, they are. They can be. Women can be aggressive, but when a woman is aggressive towards us, it's not seen in the same manner. True. I remember I was in hair school and this woman used to grab me and was like, I'm going to smash you. And I was like, no, you're not. I don't want to do it. And I went and told on her, and they laughed at me. <laughs> but I if it was the other way around, it'd mm -hmm. be a case. You feel what mm -hmm. I'm That's saying? True. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. That's true. Absolutely. Absolutely. So I don't know what your other question was, but I wanted to comment I on it. I would love to hear from the, the well, well, one of the couples. When they feel compelled, when they feel compelled, it's, it's, so, is there anything that you know we can gain from from the love that exists in this room? That's that's really what we're trying to do. I well, I guess I can't. They could, they could, the questions I have, they, Tell us your nobody name. would answer Welcome. 100% right now. <laughs> yeah. Hi, I'm Angelique. This is my husband, Bobby. We celebrated Hello. our hey. 20th wedding anniversary. You guys hit on a lot of hot topics today. Um, so my head is full of comments that I wanted to say. But um, as far as relationships still being traditional. Um, like I said, we got married 20 years ago. So things were a lot different then, even, and it doesn't seem like it was that long ago. Yeah. But like you all said, we got people identifying the way that they want to identify. Um, I think you just have to really focus on finding that person for you hmm. because everyone is different. And mm -hmm. even being married 20 years, we're not the same as we were 20 years ago right. Absolutely. as individuals. So you have to roll with those changes as well. So it's basically you're finding that person that you're willing to, that you fit with, and then you're willing to go through those changes with. Mm. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Super thank you for that question. Anybody else? else? I have yeah, a question there... for you all. Mm. So being a couple... 20 years, um, do you ever feel pressure from other couples around to conform to what the new normal is? Like maybe you two are, I'm assuming you two are in a monogamous one-on-one -on -one situation, whereas these days maybe your friends are just newly married and they're like, man, we doing this, this, and this, and this. Do you ever feel like outsiders being, no, it's just me and him and we're, we're good. <laughs> they got a, they got a yeah. thought. They got a thought. Do you thought. experience that ever? Like um, other couples are like, we got this going girl, on. I'm, okay. Mm. <laughs> we, that mess. Mess. Okay. we grown. Yeah. We live, we have lives to live day to day. Why bring that mess mm. into your relationship? If y'all working, 
And he ain't coming to me saying, baby, I want to be with somebody else. We've been married 20 years. I may say, go ahead, do what you got to do. Come on back home. I'm oh, not. Okay. But I mean, it depends <laughs> on how I feel that day. Okay. And But why bring unnecessary drama yeah. into your relationship? Mm-hmm. And another person is unnecessary drama. Both of y'all have your own individual things going on. That's enough drama within itself. You're going to bring a third or a four, fourth person into that? Y- y'all might as well have a party. <laughs> I don't know. Some couples do have a party. On the hedonism. Some couples do absolutely have parties, for sure. Thank absolutely. You. Thank you. Did anybody else have anything that they wanted to share or Any- ask or say? Like, like, like show. When, when you go out, I, I feel like in the blue, she has something to say. <laughs> I had a feeling. <laughs> I know she I got, got something. She's about to say it right now. Both blues. <laughs> um, That's all right. My name is Farrah. Uh, 50 years old and single. Oh, <laughs> so you're amazing. There's, when I listen to the topic that you have regarding couples and whether or not they would add a third or fourth person, I can't speak on as to how eloquently you put that, uh, (laughs) bringing all that mess. I can't speak on the perspective of somebody that was asked Mm. to Mm. be a third or fourth. Mm. And being raised as a traditional Christian woman, I'm going to tell you no, Mm. and then no again. And then for your wife, no. (laughs) Right. The complete audacity of men at every age to ask that type of question of a woman is really over the line. Um, When I see people being approached on that level, I think to myself, what exactly is it that was happening in your marriage that you did not want to talk with your wife about Mm. that you felt so secure to go ask another woman to be involved with you on that level of intimacy? Mm -hmm. That just feels like a slap for me and your wife. I need you to go take several seats. <laughs> oh, I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> what, I knew she had something to say. No, truly, truly. <laughs> our, our culture defines what is right or wrong. Hmm. Our culture definitely defines what's right or wrong. And we appreciate everybody coming through and, and, and speaking to the culture. But before we get out of here, we do have a giveaway. <laughs> We do have a giveaway, and today's show is brought to us by brownsugarbabies.com. This is a black-owned business, and she makes her own products. So one of you lucky women in the audience will go home with this lovely gift today. We'll do it off the air. Very good. Thank you very much. All right. And shout out to August Ave for these beautiful ear cuffs. Shout out to our local businesses and the people who make us and help us to stay beautiful. Listen, our episode got really (laughs) hot today, and I'm sure that episodes to come will have more conversation on the things that we touched upon today. Because that's all we have. But you guys, show up next week, 730, Every Woman. We here live. Peace. I am every woman, woman, woman.